ocean stories is a whole YouTube video and I'm gonna whisper because it's kind of early and everyone's still asleep but we are going to Catalina Island today we're gonna stay there the whole weekend so we're preparing our camping situation right now hey wow. we made it we are in the car about to start our road trip we have the best seats in the house and we are gonna look for dolphins and whales and we almost didn't make it <laughs> well maybe by like five minutes i had the romantic idea of filming every step of it and then it got hectic as hell but we made it Kayla just dropped us off with the golf cart at our campsite and it's so cute and we literally got here, the tent was already set up, we have these little beds, like cots, it's cots, cots? <laughs> it's so cute, I'll show you. And this is our new house, we literally live here we're now. gonna move into. I'm not we moving out. padding provided by Kayla. Okay, my bed looks kind of <laughs> shitty right now, but Lydia's padding. <laughs> Provided by Kayla, oh, it looks like an emergency right, room. Right now, it's in therapy chair mode. A pillow, which is luxurious. A pillow and a warmth blanket, and I have my sleeping bag. And wait till you see what I brought, because basically I brought a queen size fuzzy blanket in here because I was scared of being cold at night. We're eating with cookies from Subway. It looks like you have a crazy window in the back. I do. So this is my house. This real estate is so expensive. Okay, show us your house. Well, this is my house. I have this <laughs> wonderful, wonderful window right next to my bed, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I got a bunch of stuff here. I'll show you later what I packed. Sustainable edition. In there. And we're about to go downtown. Down to town. I want to drink a we're beer. Going. I'm, feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling like I want to drink a beer. I don't know what just something, some demon just came out of you. <laughs> yeah, and it's about a mile. Which right now, that seems like a really quick walk, but maybe I will think about it differently once we walk this 10 times. And she told us about a path over there, which you cannot see, that okay. we might go on. Wow. Wow. Listen to this. I kind of want to drink from that. Um, we just got majorly lost on a hiking trail. It wasn't actually that scary, but it was really dark. We were really safe. Like we, we were, were very safe, safe, but we were really scared. also lost so in we the were, mountains. We were in the mountains, and we just like in my jeans and my big up, wide cup jeans. And what up on the is, golf course? We, we were led to believe that it was really a quick little walk. It was, in fact, more like a, it was a walk. It wasn't like really a, a hike, but it was like an, an hour. hour long walk. And we took a little bit of a wrong turn. 
but well, we're back in we the made civilization. It and now we can only we can finally have a beer. Since when do I drink <laughs> beers? Like this is a new Sarah thing. Sarah really wants a beer I'm today. Like an old man. <laughs> I don't like beer, so I'm gonna have something. Else. Do we go to this cute little ocean shack situation, or do we go to Biergarten? Oh, Biergarten. I think Biergarten. <laughs> Run, girl. I think, the sure. I think this little bus situation. I feel like this is where the young crowd is. German beer versus San Diego Junchan. Okay, what's the rating? This actually tastes really good. This is an 8 out of 10 for a beer. <laughs> this is pretty good too. I like the mango Junchan. So, like mango junchan. which one's better? Honestly, I'm like pro beer right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the island has to have some good, uh, like, Yeah, actually, we have ghost tours. Like yeah, what's haunting? Oh, there's a second. Yeah, I, I that, still like, don't know. Like, all the other agents. So, I don't know. 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 I don't Uh, my name is Kayla. I am the founder and president of Blue World, which is an ocean conservation nonprofit based here on Catalina. Um, our mission is actually to build a network of what we call ocean change makers. So all of you, um, we do a lot of cleanups here on the island, primarily land-based. So we're really stoked to start to get into underwater cleanups with this event. Um, and we're also kicking off some scientific diving expeditions this summer. So if anybody's interested, I think tomorrow after the event, we're all gonna have some pizza on the beach and I'd love to talk your ear off about it. We're gonna start to do some research in the kelp forests right off our coast. Um, and we're looking for people like you to get certified and to bring out there to teach you guys about citizen science and about our ecosystem. Um, so that's our mission and we're really stoked because this is now the second time we've worked with OAR and we're really excited to keep doing programs with you guys. Those guys here who don't like seeing plastic cups end up in the ocean or plastic bottles, etc. That's what we're here to fight. That's what we're here to take care of and monitor. So on behalf of what we do at the Patty Ware Foundation, for all of you being here, thank you guys so very much. Because everything you guys are going to do tomorrow is going to make a huge impact. So thank you guys again. It means a lot to us. Yay. Thanks for Oh. I <laughs> <laughs> look really scary. Is no. Like... We just met really cute girls and we got pasta. <laughs> Of everything that happened. <laughs> of everything that happened, this is... That's the takeaway. <laughs> no, we have to do a debrief later. Hello. Not all the dust, like, and bugs, like, showing up on the camera. How fitting is this? <laughs> it's in your nature. Go with it. Have fun. Get dirty. Also, we just got this shirt from Scuba Bay Design. And we were told that you have to wash and iron it before you can wear it, but I kind of want a crinkly crop top, so I'm gonna unbox this real quick. It is really <laughs> okay. We're gonna come back to you once we get it unboxed. Yeah, maybe it's... maybe it's correct. Can I break it? I'm gonna zoom in. Whoa, whoa! This is like origami or something. Oh, this it's really so cute. Cool. Okay, you'll see me wear this tomorrow. I want to wear this exactly like this, and people will be like, "Where did you get it?" Okay, now we can go to sleep because we have to wake up in like four hours. Good morning. <laughs> it is like 7, 6.45. We slept pretty good for camping, but there's a lot going on. Olivia's adamant to get a coffee this morning. She's an addict. And we didn't have time to pick up coffee, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> we didn't even tell you what we're here for, but we only really found out last night, to be honest. So it's the Avalon Harbor cleanup, and about 400 divers go into the harbor to dive for trash. It's the 42nd year that they've done this, so it's like a huge event. And um, this year they have the most volunteers they've ever had because they're trying to weigh and sort and categorize everything. And we were actually not gonna be part of the diving, who would have guessed? Um, we are on the sorting team of one of these places because all the trash gets perfectly tracked and 
um, sorted and all that kind of stuff. So we will be helping out on one of those points and document everything. Woohoo! Look how pretty it is here right now. This is Casino Point. That's our station for the day. plastic and rubber you know wouldn't they all be together and they're not according to this so um, anything that's large like sometimes they bring in like huge lengths of rope um, from a boat or something um, we want to leave that here because you got to weigh it like when there's a lull you know in traffic um, I'm not quite sure how we'll be here maybe we'll have two two scales and one on each end or something Reporting live from the Avalon Harbor cleanup, we're here in Catalina Island to talk to the divers and see what's the craziest trash that we can find. <laughs> Trash to come in. We're waiting. So far, it's been 30 minutes, and so far we have 2.5 plus 9.5 plus 5.6 plus 1.5. So do that math. Do it. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. GoPro is doing some interviews here. This is the bucket for the critters. If we find any, please look in the cans and stuff. Wow, this is 5.5. Okay. We have a nudie brink. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's in a hurry. <laughs> More you... critters. Bye bye. Weighing and weighing and weighing. Some trash is coming that. now, and I see it. <laughs> yes! Tug it in. This is a whole teamwork situation here right now. Oh my goodness! This is 14.3. One more reason to stop vaping right here and in front of us. All of these are from the bottom of the ocean. Oh, a bus ball. Oh, not the bus ball. Get in there. Enter you there. 4.2. Yeah, be careful when you're 3.6. Woo! Okay, some favorites. We got a whole drone with the drone control. We got some rummy cup, um, how do you say, like the playing cards? The cubes. The cubes, and apparently they found a lot of them last year, so now we got more. Pretty much. And now we're finding the. Right here. Right here. We found. Pasta sauce, pa packaged pasta sauce, three jars, dolls, all sorts of stuff. Oh, more people Let's zoom on the pasta sauce over there. So, we got a drone, there's four vapes so far, two iPhones, an entire wallet. Or a sea lion. It has the big bunch of holes. Wow, this is wild. What's like the, what do you think is the total right now? Impossible to know. Impossible to know. Wow, we look wasted, but the amount wasted of with trash. The amount of phones that we found is crazy, and they're all of three cameras. They're all just new. I don't know. It must be six at this point, or even more. Maybe a flip phone as well. A flip phone and a whole wallet with IDs. This is where all the bags were dumped, and every volunteer is. 
I love old wildlife so much. There are six oars. Some of them are broken. There, I think there's four or five vapes. Three iPhones. I think and, more iPhones at oh, this point. Oh, okay. iPhone tally TBD. So much stuff. The entire pack oh, of yeah, Costco brand opens. This is my I mean, unopened. Yeah, you get it. Whatever that is. Costco. Oh, they're full. And they're full. <laughs> Someone's trip to Costco was for not. You know, I wonder if it's still good. <laughs> Have a taste test. The buzz ball. Oh, oh yeah, the, that's Lydia Spirit. And it's the chili mango, which is super good flavor. Shout out to buzz ball. <laughs> no smoking in this area. It's not the best flavor, but it's a good not one. Wait, that's so cool. You've been blessed as a moment. <laughs> Some of the divers are gonna release the critters, so we're following them around. Yeah. But the big stuff is obvious, you know, the bottles and things, there's just a few of them, but like there's an octopus, there's some brittle stars in there, there's like 50 snails. So like the snails and stuff we could just dump here, you know, but the brittle stars and the octopus, clearly we wanna maybe put them by the pilings or something like that, so. And he keeps coming? Oh my god. Okay, we are on our way home. We kind of need to catch you up with all of that that happened. We finished the glean up and then all our phones died because we filmed for like seven hours straight. And then there was a crazy raffle and we won something. We did. I have we really won. good luck with raffles. We actually got three t-shirts that were just like thrown around to the crowd. Um, also, my hair is just excuse what we look like we literally dug in trash, trash all for like six hours we were we got some random stuff like a mooring bowl for a boat for two days so if someone has a boat and wants to sail us to Catalina um and then we just had to sit at a cafe and charge our phones and eat and just do nothing for a little bit now we're walking back to take a shower and then we'll walk back to town also, it's confirmed that we all learn how to dive because everyone couldn't believe that. We're here and we have an ocean podcast and we're not certified scuba divers yet. P.S. One of the things that we won in the raffle was a vintage diving knife. So if you know anything about that, let us know because we are now the proud owners. The Ocean Stories podcast is now the proud owner of um, a vintage a massive diving scuba knife. knife. It's literally like a from the sword. museum, from the dive museum of Catalina Island. So we'll show you that later. Yeah. <laughs> this literally looks like Hawaii. Lydia has orange hair right now, but she looks fire, honestly. Um, we took a shower, and I was freezing cold. I was doing the Wim Hof method, thinking about everything that happened today being like really shook by all the people we met and just genuinely processing everything we heard and we learned. And it was just such a psycho day and it's not even over, it's only 6 p.m. So yeah. Cute angle. I actually had a warm shower because there's warm showers and cold showers. Um, using this now, okay, we, oh wait, this is not even what I was gonna use. This is for the morning. Um, we actually went to see stream to see today i don't think we filmed that bummer but we were talking to them and we were asking them how this is actually pronounced already forgot about it but there's two different ways like the plant-based one which this one is is pronounced differently than the one that has the like shark or animal products in it i think this is pronounced squalene and the other one is squalene and the other one is squalene no that doesn't squalene squalene who squalene knows squalene and squalene i don't know uh, yeah who knows? This is this is a good stuff. We love stream to see. They also gave us a new shimmer we posted on our stories. And they gave us another test, like another little testing thing for the shimmer sunscreen. And I need to get a full one because it's just the best thing ever. I'm sorry, stream to see. A little bit of some criticism, but I don't believe in shampoo and body wash combos, but I'm gonna give this a rating after today. It smells really, really good. Not my skin right now, but like the smell of it, but I just am skeptical of if this is gonna work. So I already used it and then I use this after and I know this does work. So I'm just gonna see 
if it works well together because I never used it together and camping using it camping like okay call me like Mrs. Stracy and I'm gonna try this out but actually I just read the bottle and it says you could use it on your hair so okay all of these are multi-use that's dream to see is works. super multi-use and the clips sick. later in this video look at my hair what do you think of it and tomorrow because I'm not taking a freezing cold shower again and if my hair looks really good then it's because of these okay and then I'm gonna buy the bigger version of this because if this is actually a shampoo and a body wash that actually works well then they I don't know how they invented it we have a code if you want to try any of these products it helps you get money off and obviously supports the podcast it's ocean stories and for 10 percent off it's 10 percent off sarah says so they have great stuff especially for camping like this is absolutely perfect because you know that if it dumps out right now it literally is not gonna hurt anything there's just like deer everywhere and they don't really give a, they don't really care that we hear a thing. left the bar real quick to journal on the 22 to portal new moon um, full moon it's february 24th and it's a full moon in pisces and we're gonna burn some stuff we just packed up the camp <laughs> there <laughs> it is <laughs> there she goes um and taylor actually has to go on a dive now we're all two. a little bit hungover two baby. dives um and lydia and i you are gonna drink dirty shirley's i feel we gonna do free. Brunch. Fancy free. Fancy free. Pancake, pancake cottage. Pancake cottage. That, pancake cottage. That's where we're going. It sounds so good. Oh my god, it sounds, oh my god, perfect. sounds perfect. Bison! Okay. This is crazy. Driving these golf carts, there's not even, it doesn't even show you how fast you go. <laughs> yes. Look, oh, that's that. Oh. Is it? It is. Hi. We just went to drop off Kayla look what the crows did to our pool floaty actually what it's not there's no food in there I it's hope actually... they didn't poke a hole in the floaty <laughs> we'll find out I guess time to say goodbye to the island how cute is this this feels very mamma mia and I can't believe I'm carrying the the floaty that was attacked by crows I also have this massive, wait, I don't even know where it is. Oh, here. I have this massive dive knife in my backpack that we want and I literally feel illegal having this on me because it's like a sport. <laughs>